Today, I'm gonna show you how to do DIY wooden farmhouse countertops. First, you need some wood. This is the wood we picked up. This is what's gonna make up our countertop. We're using poplar for the top piece. But first, you need to get your base piece down to affix that poplar too. And that you can just use some of these boards for. Get those affixed into your counter base, into those cabinets. Use some finish nails for that. Got those in there nice and good. Then, on to the next step, laying out your wood. So we laid out the wood. Basically, it's kind of like a big puzzle. You cut it to the uh, specifications you need, get it laid out the way you want. Don't affix anything yet. Then, you take it back and you use this little tool. It's a Craig jig. This is where you're gonna be using it to make some pocket holes. So you can hide those screws really easily. Let me show you how this thing works. Very, very simple. You take your piece of wood, you attach the Craig jig, Make your pocket hole right there. You do two right next to each other. Okay, very simple. You got that, you got the nice little inlet there. That's where you're gonna be doing your screws. There's gonna go right in there, right into your next piece of wood hidden below the countertop. So this is the, the part of the countertop that's gonna be facing the bottom. This is the part you're not going to see. And it uh, just pulls all these pieces together real nicely. Look at this. Just, you pop it right up, and it's now one piece of wood affixed together. And we're going to do this for the entire countertop. So all of the pieces of poplar are going together using the uh, the Craig jig through those uh, pocket holes. And as you can see, you end up getting a lot of pocket holes. You just kind of work your way down until you have it all put together into one solid piece. Then from there, you flip it over. So now you have the nice smooth side down. And you can see it's looking real nice, all coming together really smooth. Now, of course, you're gonna have a slight variation from here and there on some of the, uh, the wood. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fix it down, then we're gonna sand it, sand it real nice and evenly. Do a rough sand, then a smoother sand, and get all those small divots out that you might have between the boards. And then wipe it off with a wet rag. This is where we're going to get to the staining portion. Of course, you can do any color you want. Some of you want to keep it exactly how it is. First thing you want to do is get some wood conditioner on there. That wood conditioner is going to help that stain really get into the boards a lot better and give you a much deeper and richer color. It just helps all around. So don't forget to do the uh, wood conditioning step here. After that, then we go into the staining. We use the brush method because it lets us get right up against the uh, the wall there without getting it onto the wall. If you have a nice steady hand, you can get it spread real evenly. Now, of course, like we said, color, it's completely up to you. We did one coat of this and you could stop right there. It looks beautiful, but we wanted it to be a little bit darker to match some of the beams that we have in this room. So we went with a second coat to make it that much darker. Again, the brush method lets us get in there and kind of cut in really easily without having to uh, tape everything off. It's completely up to you how you want to do it. You can use a rag if you want to tape things off as well. And then from there, this is what you got. This beautiful farmhouse style countertop. It's a lot like butcher block, but it's not. It's built by you, affixing those boards together and it just, it looks beautiful. Saves you a ton of money from having to buy expensive butcher block as well. If you want to see more of our projects, things that we've done, then check out our podcast at Junkin' with Jenny. Dot com or subscribe on Apple Podcasts or any place podcasts are listed.